Hello everyone. So today we are going to be doing a paint with me while I teach you about framing and decolonization. I have my sketch prepared, so let's mix some paint and get started. So first of all, to understand phenomena and decolonization, I find it most understandable as a reaction. Firstly, there would be no concept of decolonization if there wasn't colonization first. Colonization is defined as the process by which one nation exercises near complete control over another country which they have settled and taken over. Often, the governing country uses the colony for its resources, taking what's useful without regard to the original inhabitants. Colonization is an exploitative process which has resulted in some of history's worst humanitarian crises, such as slavery, racism, genocide, the extinction of entire ethnic groups and thousands of languages, as well as displacement to name a few things. Some examples of colonized countries are the United States of America, who colonized the Native Americans, Mexico, who was colonized by Spain, the Philippines, who was colonized by both the Spanish and Japanese, and Haiti, who was colonized by the French. So therefore, decolonization is a cultural, psychological, political, and economic freedom for indigenous peoples of the host country with the goal of achieving indigenous sovereignty. Ame Cesar, a pioneer of decolonization theory, noted several crucial aspects of the settler-colonized relationship and asset aspects of decolonization. Internationalism is encouraged as people should interact internationally and exchange goods and concepts, but that does not necessarily make it cosmopolitan as there's no rejection of racial or ethnic background. Colonialism is sustained by violence. Violence is used as a form of domination and control, and therefore it has a dehumanizing effect on both the colonized and the colonizer. The brutalizing effect has occurred on both the colonized and the colonizer as violence becomes normative for both groups. In colonialism, there is a false representation of supposed benefits for colonialism to sort of justify the colonizer's agenda. But Ame Cesar notes that decolonization is searching for a way forward, not just a return to the past. So in that notion, he encourages internationalism and an exchange of ideas, but not necessarily the rejection of diversity and not necessarily a rejection of globalization entirely. The Fanonian ideology was created by Frantz Fanon, a former French Martinique soldier and psychologist who's best known for his writings, The Wretched of the Earth, in which he describes decolonization and its violent nature. In The Wretched of the Earth, he explains that the system of violence can only be overthrown by the violence in which it is built. Colonizers will never accept losing their privileges and therefore will never leave the colonized to acquire autonomy or freedom without violent means. A quote from The Wretched of the Earth in which I feel completely exemplifies this relationship between the colonized and the colonizer is the following quote. quote the native is an oppressed person whose permanent dream is to become the persecutor, end quote. The following quote addresses colonialism, quote, it is violent in its natural state and it will only yield when confronted with greater violence, end quote. Therefore, in its perspective of the colonized group, they understand the settlers to be violent in nature due to their frequent usage of violence as a tool to obtain power. They believe that because violence was used against them and with success, that violence would be the same tool to free the enslaved from their enslavers. Hence, in the most simple explanation, phenomenon decolonization is the process of a colonized group's liberation 
liberation through political, social, and psychological means from their colonizing country, specifically by violent means. If the decolonization occurs without violence, then it cannot be Fanonian decolonization. To be Fanonian, there must be the presence of violence. That violence can come in the form of di direct violence, such as genocide or war, or indirect violence, such as vandalism or hunger strikes. Examples of real-life cases of Fanonian decolonization in action can be seen in the hunger strikes many Gandhis participated in, the Algerian Revolution, and the Haitian Revolution, which expelled the French. Other examples of modern forms of Fanonian decolonization could be the individuals choosing to loot stores during the Black Lives Matter movement, even though the large movement itself is not associated with a form of Fanonian decolonization. This painting is inspired by the Algerian Revolution of 1954, which was previously mentioned, in which the subjugated, colonized groups liberated Algeria using violence, eventually gaining its independence and autonomy after eight grueling years. The revolution was particularly violent and became known for its bloodshed for mass, for mass casualties from opposing sides as well as from the civilians caught in the crossfire. The violence that characterized this movement was embodied in the 1966 film, The Battle of Algiers, which highlighted the importance of women in rebelling against the French and planting bombs across the city, which inspired the scene in this painting. The pink scarf symbolizes the women involved in participating to utilize violence as a tool to achieve freedom. The baskets in the painting refer to the scenes in the Battle of Algiers where the women plant bombs in various stores and cafes on behalf of the Algerian freedom fighter. The red flowers were inspired Linum grandiflorum, which also represents the endless bloodshed produced in the years of revolution. The hands represent the relationship between those who lost their lives in order to liberate the country and those who were able to experience liberation in their honor. I wanted to portray the chaos and the violence to be overwhelming and violent in its own right. And I think that I achieved that with this piece. Thank you for painting with me, and I hope I succeeded in teaching you the basics of Fanonian decolonization ideology. Good night.